Okay, here's another, uh, well in this case it's a two-dimensional trick application, um, even though it's a three-dimensional scenario, but you'll notice that everything happens just on a, on a flat surface. Let's look at it. So we have two ships, A and B, are 201 kilometers apart. So there we have, in our sketch, we have ship A, and then we have ship B, and we see, even on the sketch, it's indicated 201 kilometers apart. Ship A is at a bearing of 60 eight degrees from D. So what bearing means is if I were to um, head north, okay, so there's a point D. From that point I head north, okay, and from that point I head in the direction of my object, okay, in this case the ship, then the angle that these two vectors make is called the bearing. Okay, so the bearing is the angle that you make with north from a certain point. So the bearing from point D of A is 68 degrees that it makes with north. Okay, uh, DN points due north. So that's just what they mean. DN points due north. Ship B is at a bearing of 194 degrees from D. So there's uh, B. And his bearing goes all the way around to 194 degrees bearing. Okay. F now a diagram is provided to the left. Okay. Determine the bearing of ship A from ship B. That is, we have to calculate A, B, M. So A, B, M. So what is the bearing? Sorry, A B M. That's that one. That angle there. What is the bearing? So M is also due north. Okay. Uh, N D and B M is parallel. Okay. So both of them are pointing north. So if I have to calculate the bearing of A from B, it's the same as the bearing from um, from D to A, I measure from north what angle does the line between B and A make with north. So that angle right there. Now it is important that we take in consideration that BM and ND is uh, parallel to each other. So let's just see what can we find out from this sketch. As you can see this angle does not appear in a triangle. Okay, that's not an angle in a triangle, but it does consist of two angles. Okay, so where one of these angles is in a triangle. So this this angle is in a triangle. Okay, I don't know if that's going to be relevant. Um, it might. Uh, how about this angle right here? How can we find this angle side length since it's not in a triangle? Okay, well here I'm going to have to rely on the relationship here that this BM and DN is parallel. Okay, so since DN and BM is parallel, we have various things. We have, for example, that alternate angles are equal. Okay, we have, for example, that um, these are co-angles. Okay, in other words, they add up to nine to um, supplementary angles. Sorry, they add up to 180 degrees. Add up to 180 degrees. What else do we have? Oh yes, we have that. If we have two parallel lines, then that angle and that angle is equal. I can't remember these names. I, they they have names. I can't remember them now. Okay. But um, what I want you to notice is which one of them are we going to, to use. Okay, well, th this one, I don't know if you can see it, but this is I this angle and that angle will add up to 180 degrees. Okay, it's a little bit tricky to see because th this angle is so, so small, but if you just turn this almost looks like a U. One of the ways in which to remember these is, is a U, like, and that's a U, and that angle and that angle is equal. Now, just make that U a little bit skew, uh, like that. Okay, then that angle and that angle adds up to 180. Now, ours is just very skew, 
okay very very flattened okay but there's the angle and that angle there hopefully you can see it okay these two must add up to 180 degrees now okay that's that's fair enough but what what is this angle equal to this this angle right here well hopefully you know that if this was a full circle it would be 360 so we can say that n d b so n d b is equal to 360 degrees minus the portion so in other words that my is the full circle minus this portion here minus and that is um minus 194 degrees and uh, what does that give me okay so 60 take me to 200 166 is it 166 degrees okay that is what ndb is and mbd mbd must equal a hundred and eighty degrees minus n d b because n d b plus m b d should be hundred and eighty okay that's these, these supplementary angles in here which means it's a hundred and eighty degrees minus a hundred and sixty six degrees so it takes me to uh, 14 14 degrees we can see it's a very small angle which makes sense that is a very small very acute angle okay so we have m b d now we still need this angle right here okay now that angle does appear in a triangle look here's the triangle it appears in it's in this triangle a, a d Let's put d again there d b a in triangle d b a do we have three pieces of information yes 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 do we have an opposite pair yes there's an opposite pair if i have an opposite pair then i can definitely use the sign rule so we're going to use that opposite pair to calculate or evaluate this opposite pair so we have that sign of d so uh, we're trying to calculate an angle so it's good that the angles are in the numerator sine of d over ad is equal to sine of no i lie sine of d over ab i'm sorry sine of d over ab because this d angle D and there its opposite side is AB okay is equal to sine of B over AD there we go that's better D over AB AD okay so in here sine of D D is known okay is D known oh okay wait 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 I almost made a mistake okay D is is, is not known yet but it's easily calculated okay because that 194 is not what D is equal to. We want that angle right there, this angle. Okay, we have that angle, that whole angle, and this angle. So, in other words, angle D is the whole angle 194 minus the portion that we don't need, 68. 68 degrees, that's good enough. Okay, um, and then that's over. AB is 201 kilometers. Can you leave out the kilometers for now? Then sine of B is still unknown. B is still unknown. AD, we said, was 120 kilometers. That was also given. 120 kilometers. That's how far A was from point D. Okay, now we can just calculate. So we see sine of B is equal to and uh, here we have sine of uh, what would that be 60 minus 130 minus uh, this 30 126 126 degrees over uh, times 120 over 201 
Okay, there we go. This is a long question, isn't it? Okay, this is 120 sine times, uh, sorry, 126. 126 sine of that times 120 divided by 201 gives me that 0 comma 48299 what 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 okay so I don't want that that's not what the angle is that's what sine of the angle is so I must use the inverse of sine and I then I see oh 28.88 okay so B is approximately equal to 28 comma 88 that's angle B but okay technically it's B but B is a bigger angle so it's actually D B A. So in other words, this is actually D B A. I can write it like that if I want. Angle D B A 28.88. So that was not the question. We have to calculate A B M. A B M is therefore equal to angle D B A. That was one of the angles. Plus the angle we calculated right at the beginning. Uh, MBD MBD okay and that gives me therefore 28 comma 88 plus 14 which equals 32 42 42 comma 88 degrees whoa that was indeed a long question okay question two it gets longer if a ship B, or if ship B travels due north and ship A travels due south, then at some instant of time ship A is due east of ship B. Calculate the distance between the two ships at that instant. Okay, now that might seem very confusing. All it's saying is that ship A is heading north. Okay, so ship A is going in this direction. Okay, it's going upwards, and ship B is going downwards okay and at some point of time the one will be right at a vertical distance a horizontal distance from the other one okay in other words the one will be immediately due east and that's what this question is asking it's asking us to calculate the distance between this point and that point now one thing that that you should notice is if this uh, if A continues to go downwards and B doesn't move at all, he would be at this distance from B. But because these two lines are parallel to each other, in other words, if I go south and if he goes north, those lines are parallel from each other, any distance between two points on these lines would be the same distance. In other words, the distance between this point and that point is the same as the distance between this point and that point so all I can do is simply calculate this distance right here okay so um, this distance between here and there since this is a horizontal distance and that is a vertical distance that means this is 90 degrees which gives me a 90 degree triangle so let's just call this one s let's say let the point s be okay Let the point S B due east from B and due south due south from A. Okay. Then we have a right angle triangle A. B C. Now S is imaginary for now, but the distance between B and S would be the same as this distance that I'm trying to calculate there. What information do we have in this triangle A B S? Well, we have the 90 degree angle, that's one thing. We have the hypotenuse length. We need one other uh, piece of information. And I if if you're going to look for it, you'll see it, but I'll I'll show it to you. We can get this angle right here okay or that angle because if you can see that this line and that line is parallel to each other then we have this alternate 
angles here, in other words, that angle there and that angle there is equal, or I can just say, well, this is a 90 degree angle there, so if, th if I have that angle, which is what I calculated um, in my previous step, and I have, uh, and then, then I can get this angle by simply saying this is 90 degrees minus uh, angle MBA. Okay, so in that triangle, we want to calculate BS. We are going to have this angle, that's the one I'm going to use, you can use that one if you want to. Okay, you've got the adjacent side that you're trying to find and you were given the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse and adjacent means I'm, I'm going to work with cos. It's a 90 degree triangle so I'm allowed to use sine, cos and tan. So cos of angle, what's that? Angle B. Cos of angle B is equal to adjacent which is BS over the hypotenuse which is BA. Okay. Now we want length BS. So we're going to multiply both sides with a BA. Both sides with BA. So we get that BS is equal to BA times cos of angle B. Okay. Which means BA. What's BA? Let's see. Okay. Angle um, or length BA is 210 kilometers. And angle B is 90 minus the angle that I just calculated in my previous step, 42.88. So BA is 201, and then cos of 90 minus 40, 42,88. Okay, that's what that angle would be equal to, angle B. Okay, and uh, well, there's various ways you can do it. For example, you can change cos 90 minus into sine. Okay, so in other words, this would be the same as 201 times sine of 42.88. Okay, if you wanted to, or you can just go simplify this angle in here, get what is that, 47.12. Okay, or you can just say this is 201 times cos of. 47,12. Both of these answers would be exactly the same. Don't believe me? Well, let's go see. Okay. 42.88 sine. Okay. Times 201 is approximately equal to 136.77. So that's approximately equal to 136.77. Okay. Or Let's try 201 times 47.12 cos, okay, is equal to, no way, look at that, it's exactly the same, 136.77. Why did I do both? Well, just to show you, you could have chosen any one of the two ways, okay. If you chose this way, what you actually did was to use that angle. That angle is 42.88. Why? Because it's alternate angles. This angle here is equal to that angle uh, there. And if I use this angle and I'm trying to calculate BS, then I have opposite. And the hypotenuse is still the same. So that would have meant I would use sine. Sine of B over. So it would have been sine of, and it wouldn't have been B, it would have been sine of A. Anyway, I don't want to go into that all now. I think you get what I'm trying to say. I hope you are by now because this is one of the last videos on trig. And by now, you should get quite a good feel of all this. I really enjoyed teaching this uh, or showing you this example. I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.